Hey, let's talk for a sec. Hello, hello, what's up everybody? It is your boy Jed here. Damn, it's been a long time since I fucking said that. <laughs> I know I've been gone for like a month. Um, I know, and I know I said I'd be coming back soon. It's been fucking weeks since I posted that on my community tab. Uh, yeah, I got a lot to talk about. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to come back very soon. I did mean that. I want to get a bunch of videos done before I come back. So when I come back, I don't need to like, you know, hyper stress myself out all the goddamn time. Constantly work on video after video after video after video every single week. I can like, I can, I can take my time a bit, you know, while also working on the video that I'm currently editing for my friend Henry, which is taking a lot of time because it's a very big video, it's a very long video, it takes a lot of work, a lot of time. Uh, I was supposed to upload Love of Chainsaw when I, before the remake came out and then cover the uh, remaster. I probably am only going to cover Love of Chainsaw as a game, right? And then when I buy the remaster, I'll probably just, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make a video on the remaster at this point, because it doesn't, from what I'm seeing, it doesn't seem too crazy different from the original, honestly. I might not make a whole video on it, maybe I will, maybe I won't, who knows, we'll see. Uh, Sonic, Sonic Blast, Sonic stuff, yeah, no, it's, we're still going, we're still going strong, we're still coming. Uh, season 3 might get a bit delayed depending on time frame of everything, because Sonic X Shadow Generations is coming, and I want to cover that. And hopefully, at the rate that it's going, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all these videos out and cover that game at the same goddamn time. We'll see. Reload. Fuck. I'm late. I know. It's coming. Don't worry. I don't know if I'm going to make a separate video on the answer or if I'm going to combine it into my main reload video. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll make two videos, one on OG, one on Reload. Maybe I'll make one on uh, just just the whole game, including Reload. Who knows? We'll see, right? Only time will tell. Uh, fuck. <laughs> There's a lot to cover, and I know um, I've got a lot of games in the way, a lot of things I said I would do that are coming, that are in the works. I've got a lot of videos in the works that I'm working on, so don't worry. They're, don't worry. They're all coming. You will get them. Do not worry. And then... Um, I was I was planning to like hyper um like hyper focus on like Sega and Sonic content not Sonic but like Sega as a whole I was going to cover Persona maybe one day I'll cover Yakuza you know some other Sega things because Sega stuff seems to do really really good on my channel especially Sonic but Sonic does good in general because it's fucking huge right <laughs> so um it's one of those things but I'm probably not going to do that because I don't want to hard lock myself into a box. But I do have a lot of like Sega and Sonic related content coming. So look forward to that. Um, what else? Mega Man stuff. The Mega Man stuff is coming as well. I'm going to slowly start like weaning out the gameplay videos in turn for like other videos. Mega Man is probably like the only time you'll see like continuous gameplay videos because some of those videos will be not review based. They'll be like gameplay style. So you'll definitely be seeing those more and more throughout Mega Man. That's probably going to be like the last time you see them. It's like Mega Man 6, Power Battle, playing Mega Man Battle and Chase, whatever the fuck it was called. The cart, the Mega Man Mario Kart fucking ripoff, basically. <laughs> uh, what else? Kirby! Me and the boy Carl, we've been covering Kirby over on his channel. Please go check that out. It's been a blast. We've been doing Kirby stuff over there. We're planning to do Dreamland Deluxe and one of the other uh, Kirby games next. Um, we might get some other friends of ours in on it. Who knows? We'll see. All right. Only time can tell. What, what, what the, the, the fuck? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing this all off the dome, off the top of my head. Uh, I'm working on a bunch of like smaller videos for smaller games. Um, like a game called Mighty Action X, which is a common art game, uh, so on and so forth. That's going to be like a whole fucking thing. <laughs> I do plan to cover some common writer games as well in the future. The Disgaea stuff that's coming. Those games are just very, very long. Those games are very, very big. They're going to take a lot of time. So I want to knock some of these videos that I have already out the way. Uh, World Ends With You, that's another video that I'm working on. Uh, I plan to collab with a buddy of mine, I won't say who, I won't spoil it, just know, coming. The world, the world ends with Jet, bro, that, that's, that's, this what we're doing. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff in the works. I plan to get a new profile picture. 
and uh something like that because this profile picture it's good but like this the, 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 this this era of this, that was part of what i like to call the goon era the ig the ignorant era if you will <laughs> um yeah that that era is is over that saga is over so now we're transitioning to a new saga like you know just be being chill just relaxing uh, no 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 goofy bullshit no fuckery not not as not as much fuckery the fuckery still gonna be there because i'm a motherfucker <laughs> um yeah there's there's a lot to come but the reason why i've been like changing styles and things like that i got i had a talk with a buddy of mine not too long ago and it got me he gave me some like tips and pointers because i asked him how he thought of about one of my thumbnails and we started he started giving me advice for, like the channel overall and things like that and people did like take a bit of inspiration from who do similar content to what i do and a similar style to what i do so i've been looking at that i i'm not gonna take all of his advice i'm, I'm not because a lot of it isn't really going to like apply to me and whatnot so you know um yeah <laughs> but i am going to take like some of that advice and start applying it more and more like the, like the border in all of my thumbnails that's gonna start to deplete you're you're still gonna see it in some of them because i don't feel like remaking all of them because it's just a fuck that <laughs> But you're gonna you're gonna start to see it like more and more uh like die throughout my thumbnails you you will see that die more and more and more throughout thumbnails you'll start to see more and more thumbnails without the border and things like that and so on but also i, I do have a question though because there's so this is a topic that has been on my mind for like a while i want to get y'all's takes on it it's a comment i'm love if you tell me like person you're talking to me, tell me this I've been planning on making a few more like negative videos is what I mean it's like like okay how do, I, how do I how do I fucking phrase this in a way that doesn't make me sound like a dickhead specifically the fact that I am a dickhead yes this is a difficult thing to phrase like I don't typically cover games that I dislike but I want to start doing more videos like what I did with the Tales of Rise video where I take a game and specifically point out one thing that like irks me about the game whether I like it or not. Like I'm currently planning on doing that with Tears of the Kingdom which is a game that I really really like. I don't like it as much as Breath of the Wild. It's not better than Breath of the Wild. It's a great fucking game though. Pure as fuck hot. Oh my god. Nintendo what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> That's like me being the whole fucking thing. Well don't worry about that. <laughs> uh like videos where i talk about like specific aspects of games specifically from a narrative standpoint that for me don't work because i want to be a writer i'm learning to be a writer that's why the tales of rise mystery thing didn't do it for me because i'm working on a current i'm currently working on a detective story that it's big around mystery that are big around mystery so i'm working on a mystery story and i want to so i've been learning how to write a mystery i'm learning what makes a good mystery and i've been reading a lot of mystery stories and so that's why tales of rise is a mystery from a mystery aspect it stuck out to me specifically and that's why i made that video and i'm gonna make more videos like that so i'm gonna know if there are any like games that you would cover want me to cover that you would like want to hear my like writing takes on and things like that or maybe making videos on um specific things that i don't like about a specific thing which is a franchise just to like get those like negative thoughts and like that out there into the world not, like out there away from out of like out, not out there in the world but like, like more like out of my head because like i don't like to think about them but whenever they do come up right it's just like god fuck it, damn it then i'm just bombarded with negative thoughts and negative thoughts are not good don't negative thoughts are not a good thing they're not happy happy thoughts are what we want around here <laughs> we want the happiness and positivity around here not super positive to the point where negativity is just fucking ignored because that's that's ridiculous that is crazy that you can't ignore it it's a thing you have to you have to fucking deal with it at some point or another you're gonna have to deal with it right you can't like bury negativity all the goddamn time you have to deal with it at some point or a fucking other because it's just a part of life it's a part of being human it is it just is it just is what it is you know yeah <laughs> like getting those things out there more and more so i don't deal with it. it's refreshing just like being just like tearing onto something every once in a while it's cathartic and in the long run it's not very meaningful it really means nothing but it's more of an end of the moment sort of thing 
Because I plan to cover some other games from like a writing standpoint because you want to be a writer, writing stories, learn how to write stories, things like that. You know what I mean? Fucking um, like one video I plan to make at some point is a game about flawed, is a video about like flawed protagonists, maybe. I'm thinking about doing that, maybe. I'll see about that. We'll see. Who the fuck knows? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but i will be coming back soon hopefully like this weekend i can have some videos done so i can start like you know blowing them out for you all and shit like that so we'll 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 see how things go uh, yeah <laughs> but i don't i'm just ranting and rambling at this point there are a lot of games i want to cover a lot of things i want to do there are a lot of things that i'm working on and I've kind of been like burning the wick at like all ends because I've been worried about job stuff, IRL. I've been worried about this in my own channel. Because so I take a lot of breaks and the algorithm really doesn't know where to fucking put me. Also, I recently learned that fucking my first Spider-Man 2 video, right? That was apparently put on fucking TikTok. I, I, I never knew that. <laughs> That's wow what the fuck <laughs> that is awesome like hey whoever whoever sent all you you buffoons my way right thank you you put me up you gave me engagement you gave me views you gave me ctr click click the ratio um like thank you thank you thank you i appreciate that uh i don't appreciate all the fucking hate comments because that was fucking annoying but it was funny to see how people reacted to that video because knowing most of them didn't watch it but again off the fucking thing <laughs> Um, I'm so sorry. I, I laugh a lot when I don't know what to say and I'm nervous. Like this, this, you see why I script my videos now? Do, do you, do you understand? This is why I script my videos because videos like the ones that I do. It helps me keep my thoughts in line and make it come out more coherently and like I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, lore stuff for show is coming. The character that I play on this channel show that's coming. Um, yeah. I'm planning on like slowly weaning out gameplay. Maybe I'll, you know, if you know, you know, I have a second channel. Um, and I'm thinking of turning that into where like, you know, raw gameplays and stuff like that go. And then I, I want to return to streaming. I do want to someday, like, you know, come back to streaming as a streamer, which has been because I miss, I miss streaming. I do. It's, my computer may not like it. I may be tiresome, but I do enjoy streaming. It's, it's fun. It's fun. Streaming is fun. Streaming is a lot of fun. I don't usually like to stream by myself. I like to have uh, someone with me when I stream because then, you know, I can, I don't know why, but when I'm with other people, I can be much more vocal and entertaining with things. <laughs> As opposed to when I'm by myself, because when I'm by myself, I have to just shut my fucking mouth and not like speak too much. People always say my reactions to games are entertaining, but I noticed that that only ever happens when I'm with someone. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? There's, there was something else. There was something else there. I forget what the fuck it was, though. I'm thinking about returning to streaming. Speaking of streaming, Rooftop Experience. Uh, we're currently, if you don't know, my friends and I run a podcast called The Rooftop Experience. One of our friends, the like head of the show, is currently on hiatus. We're going through a bit of a change as we're streaming from Discord now instead of... Um, stream labs and stream is not stream with stream yard so things are gonna be a bit awkward over there he's taking a hiatus so like i'm in charge right now so that's been uh fun interesting <laughs> being in charge of a whole fucking podcast excuse me but we usually do it every like saturday at like 7 or 8 p.m eastern time so be like uh, yeah so if you want to catch us like over there on the weekends you can you know where to find us rooftop experience youtube channel on youtube but like that show sadly may be coming to an end it's a lot of fun though but i will understand if like you know eventually we end up having to stop it so then i as much as i would not like that i would not want that to happen i would it would be very very understanding if it does but it'll probably, so it'll probably if the show does end it'll probably just end up becoming like an archive channel for all that old goofy shit and it probably won't make any like new content over there but who, who, who knows? The future of this channel, the future of all the things that I'm involved with, there's a lot to come. If you know, I used to make music. I have a uh, SoundCloud. I'm planning to put all of my music on there. So yeah, I'm planning to dump all of that on there. It's like one like consistent thing. 
and I'll start promoting that more and more. I'm gonna start put, promoting like rooftop more and more. It's probably it's probably a promotion for it at the start of this video. Who the fuck knows? We'll see. But yeah, um, lots to come. I will be returning soon. Don't worry. I'm not dead. I'm not gone. So I can't keep ignoring my channel forever while I work on this video and deal with all the other shit. So I'm going to work on my own videos. Come back once I have some for myself and that while I'm working on my own videos, keep chipping away at his video because that video is long. It's going to take a lot of time to get it done because of how much work needs to be done. Fuck you, Henry. I know you're watching this video. You motherfucker. You have made you and your fucking audio bullshit. You have made my life so much harder. You dirty, fat, black bitch. <laughs> I, love, I, love, I love I love you, Hank, if you're watching this, my man. Talking... <laughs> Go no, no subscribe to my boy. He's great. He's fucking hilarious. Love him to death. Great guy. Fucking, but he's he's a bastard. And I I only said that because I told him I would grill him for it whenever I get the fucking chance. And he can't say shit because he knows he's made my job harder. He, it's, just, it's just fun between friends. Fucking yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. Though I don't really have anything else to add. I'm just kind of talking now. So I'm gonna stop wasting your time. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't, you can have a much. I sucks both the YouTuber and the VTuber in the comment section down below. I'm gonna go. I'll be back soon. Peace out and enjoy yourselves, everybody. Wondering just how long is death from birth? I just like a burning piece of cures all the life of thoughts in my mind. Man, I need a purse. Southside choppers, classic with the vibe. Keep me off the edge to